Hello everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a product that a lot of you guys have been asking us to take a closer look at, and that product is the Cat Genie Self-Cleaning, Self-Washing, Self-Flushing Litter Box. All right, so before we jump into the review, I'd like to encourage all of you new viewers to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll get the news every time that we release a new product review like this one or buyer's guide or any other information on all things cats. So having gotten that out of the way, let's get a little bit of background on the Cat Genie. As I mentioned earlier, the Cat Genie is pretty special. So it's the only automatic litter box that I'm aware of that doesn't just scoop, it also flushes your cat's waste, which means that you aren't going to have to do any of that disposal that you'd be accustomed to even with an automatic litter box. It really becomes kind of a hands-off solution. So as a self-cleaning and self-flushing litter box, this product is really supposed to grant all of your litter box wishes, but does it actually deliver on those promises? That's what we're about to find out in this review. So over the last few weeks, I've been testing out the Cat Genie with the help of my two cats, Wessie and Forrest, and taking notes on its performance. So I've been looking at things like just how smoothly it works, how easy it is to set up, whether or not there's a lot of tracking and scatter, how well it controls odors, all of those important things. So stay tuned to get all of the details on how the Cat Genie works and whether or not I think it's worth it the price. When you receive your Cat Genie, it's going to come in this huge box and the box is absolutely packed with all of the supplies that you need to get started with the Cat Genie. So before you do any setup, you're going to have to figure out where you want to put the Cat Genie. So the Cat Genie is a pretty big unit, so you're going to need to find a place where you have enough space, but you're also limited to putting it in either a laundry room or a bathroom. And that's because the Cat Genie needs to hook up to your cold water line and it also needs a place to drain. So when I received the Cat Genie, I decided to put it into the bathroom because my cats don't go into the laundry room, it's a little bit too risky. And from there I proceeded to set it up. Assembling the Cat Genie is pretty straightforward. You're going to have this base and it's going to be topped with a bowl and then the bowl is going to be topped by this processing unit and a cover that goes over the top. Once you have assembled all of those main parts, you're going to connect the water hose to the back of the Cat Genie and then connect that to your cold water line. Then once you have a water supply to the Cat Genie, you're going to want to put this drain hose over the edge of the toilet or a drain in your laundry room so that when it flushes, everything in there will go into the toilet. And then once you have the body of the Cat Genie set up and it's connected to a water supply, you're going to insert this Sani Solution cartridge. So the Sani Solution is this lightly scented cleaning solution, apparently the same type of cleaning solution that veterinarians would use to clean surfaces in their clinics. And then you'll add the washable granules. So instead of using traditional cat litter, the Cat Genie only works with these little plastic granules. So I found that the granules felt uh, very similar to clay litter in my hands, and I think that they were going to be pretty comfortable for my cats to use. So unlike traditional litter that clumps and needs to be discarded on a regular basis, this litter is intended to be washed and reused. And finally, you're going to need to plug the Cat Genie in. So the power cord that comes with the Cat Genie is pretty short, so I needed to use an extension cord and drape it um, over the counter and then across the bathroom floor in order to reach the Cat Genie. I found that this was a little bit of an annoyance. It made the room feel a little bit less homey, so ideally you would be able to position the Cat Genie really close to an appropriate outlet. So like a lot of other automatic litter boxes, the Cat Genie is a programmable automatic litter box. So you have a few different ways of programming it. As soon as you have it plugged in, you can use it in manual mode, which means that you'll press a button to trigger a cycle. You can also use it in cat activation mode, which senses when a cat is in the litter box and then triggers a cycle. And in addition to cat activation, you can set it to run at set intervals. So you can program it to run every six, eight, 12, or 24 hours. 
I started out by running a manual cycle by pressing the button and then watching what happened. So the Cat Genie's cleaning cycle occurs in three phases. The first phase is a scooping phase and that lasts for about seven minutes. So during this period, the bowl starts rotating and then the genie hand moves down into the litter and uh, collects any solid waste as the bowl rotates. Then it'll enter into the second stage of the cleaning cycle, which is the wash cycle. So during this phase, the litter bowl fills up with sandy solution and everything in there gets agitated. So it works a little bit like a washing machine to clean the litter inside of the cat genie bowl. And then once everything has been sufficiently agitated, the cat genie will do a series of flushes to get all of that waste moved into your toilet or drain. This stage was pretty fun to watch. So the cat genie flushes into your toilet and you'll see these little pieces of broken up well, waste moving into your toilet bowl. Unfortunately, the cat genie doesn't actually flush your toilet, so everything that's in there is just going to remain until you go in and flush it. So it could be kind of a strange sight for any guests who use your bathroom. Once everything has been washed and flushed, the cat genie goes into the drying phase. So hot air is going to blow into the bowl of the cat genie as it continues to rotate. During this phase, all of the litter gets pretty hot and eventually um, is dry and warm, ready for your cat to use it again. This phase is the longest in the cat genie cleaning cycle, lasting about 17 minutes. All in all, the cat genie cleaning cycle takes between 30 and 40 minutes. That's a pretty long time. It's also pretty noisy, so it felt a little bit like having a small washing machine sitting in the bathroom. The sound was very noticeable, I could hear it from across the house, and the cats were pretty um, interested in it as well. So once I had everything set up and had monitored a cycle, it was time to get my cats to use the cat genie. So I would say this was the biggest challenge that I encountered when testing out the cat genie. One, my cats just don't really like go going into the bathroom, in fact they're kind of scared of going into the bathroom. So I knew that it was going to be a challenge to try to get them to go in and use the cat genie in there. I've tried a few different approaches. I tried putting some feces into the cat genie to try to get my cats to associate it with being their bathroom. I tried feeding Wessie a couple of meals in the bathroom, but ultimately they just continued to feel uncomfortable going in there. And I ultimately ended up moving the cat genie into the room where they normally would use the litter box to try to get them to associate it with, you know, being a litter box. And that was the only thing that worked in the end. Even then, I don't really think they were comfortable with it. I found some protest poo outside of the cat genie at one point, and I just don't think that they were that happy with it. I think one contributor could be the small size of the litter bowl. It measures about 18 inches across, so it's not really a large area for a cat to be using. I also noticed that after Wessie had used the cat genie, he walked out and left moist footprints uh, wherever he walked. It seems that because the cat genie is using these non-absorbent plastic granules, any urine that hasn't yet made it through these small slits on the bottom of the bowl is just hanging out in the litter. So Wessie ended up with wet paws. I've never experienced this with any other type of litter and it was pretty unpleasant. But all that being said, let's talk a little bit about how well it actually cleans. So I found that the cat genie did a decent job of scooping and getting up all of that waste, but it wasn't perfect. A few particles of stool uh, either stuck in the genie hand tines or just were left behind in the litter bowl. So it certainly was not capturing all of the waste. And although there was some liquid waste uh, remaining in the litter box before it cycled, I found that it was you know, completely thorough with any liquid waste. There were no remnants of that remaining after a cycle. But while it was relatively thorough with waste, it also tended to pick up a good bit of the cat genie granules as well. So every time that it cycled, it would pick up those plastic granules and then 
send them into the toilet, just like all of the waste. For granules that you're not supposed to be replacing for two to five months at a time, it seems like the cat genie is throwing a lot of these away and that there's a lot of waste happening. I found that the level of odor control really depended on where you were in the cycle and whether or not you had run a cycle yet. The cat genie's granules don't do anything to control odors. So when your cat uses the litter box, there's going to be quite a lot of it. So unless you have it in cat activation mode, which means that it will be cycling shortly after every single use, you could certainly have a good bit of buildup. I found that the odor was really intense when I was using it uh, without plugging it in. And then once it entered into the cycle, I found that the drying phase could lead to quite a lot of fecal odors because there were some remaining particles in the box. So those were getting heated up and the odor was really intense. I have to say though that after the cycle was complete, those dried nuggets didn't really seem to have that much odor. So the odor control seemed to be pretty good in the end. Now I can't say that this is going to be the case for everyone or that it would have continued to be the case for me if I'd used the Caccini for a longer period of time. Um, but overall, I can't say that there was a lot of odor after the cycle was complete. Now, as for tracking and scatter, I found that there was a pretty significant amount. So these little plastic granules are pretty lightweight and it's easy for your cat to kick them out of the litter box, which again is relatively small. So now that we've talked about how well the Caccini works, let's talk a bit about how much it costs. So as of this filming, the Cat Genie 120 costs about $292. It will vary depending on where you're purchasing it. You'll also have some recurring costs with the Cat Genie, so you're going to have to buy those Sani Solution cartridges as well as those proprietary plastic granules. So one cartridge of Sani Solution costs about $25, and you're going to need to replace it about once every two months with one cat. And then the granules cost roughly $24 per box and you'll be replacing those again between once every two and five months. So let's just say every two months since there does tend to be some uh, waste of those granules. Altogether, you're going to be paying close to $26 uh, every month on those recurring costs. So overall, between its upfront cost and those recurring expenses, the Cat Genie is certainly one of the most expensive litter boxes you can buy, even compared to other automatic litter boxes. So overall, is the Cat Genie worth it? It's really hard to say, and it's going to depend on your household, and there are a lot of factors that go into this. Uh, one of the first things to think about is, do I actually have a good space for the Cat Genie? Remember that the cat genie can only work either in a bathroom or a laundry room, and it's quite large. So you're going to need to find a place where you can squeeze in the cat genie. And you need to make sure that your cats are comfortable going into that place, unlike mine. Besides taking up a lot of space, the cat genie is also pretty noticeable in terms of sound. It's a very loud automatic litter box. You're definitely going to hear it. And this is going to become especially noticeable if you're running it multiple times a day. I'd also consider whether or not your cats are going to be willing to use the cat genie. And if you want to include a backup cat litter box in your house, because the cat genie cycles for such a long period of time, it's likely that your cats will be left without a litter box when they need one. And also remember that the cat genie is not necessarily the most cat friendly litter box. Though the cat genie granules are really comfortable, the cat genie body is just not that spacious and a lot of cats may feel some resistance to using it. Finally, you're going to want to consider that the cat genie, even though it's going to be able to free you uh, from the litter cleaning situation and it seems to work really reliably, it's not the most thorough uh, litter cleaner. So there is going to be some waste remaining in the litter box in all likelihood and there is going to be some odor during that cleaning process and before it. So all in all, there are really a lot of issues and a lot of reasons why you wouldn't want to get the Cat Genie, but at the same time, I think that there is a certain type of person who could get a lot out of it. So if you're someone who absolutely can't or doesn't want to handle heavy litter, whether it's while scooping or hauling around stretching trash bags full of litter, the Cat Genie could be a good solution for you. 
So it really takes a lot of the back-breaking elements of having a litter box out of this whole situation. And it can allow you to kind of wash your hands of uh, the issue of cleaning your cat's litter box. So if you feel like you've been up to your ears for a long time with litter cleaning and you just want some relief or you have a physical issue that makes it really difficult to handle a litter box, I think the Litter Genie could be a promising solution for you. Great, so I think that's about it for our review of the Cat Genie Litter Box. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please uh, give us a like. And if you have any other questions about the Cat Genie, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comments. If you're interested in learning more about the Cat Genie, you can check out the description. There you'll find a link to the Genie so that you can learn more about it for yourself. While you're in the description, you'll also find a link to sign up to our free recall alert program. This is a completely free way to stay informed and help to keep your cat safe. So again, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you liked it and you're interested in more cat product reviews and other videos on all things cats, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll get the news every time we release a new video. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.